Today we're continuing our character design challenge by designing Stor, a big old barbarian viking type of character. Stor here is Gom's son, who you might remember from the first video. From sketch to render, I think I took some major steps forward in developing a style, and I really noticed progress when placing Stor next to his father for the new banner that the characters in the series will fill. You'll be able to see that at the end of this video, so let's get into it. I begin by making a scribbly mess that will help me make clear and intentional lines later on. I have an idea of the armor that I want Stor to be wearing, the most significant being the mammoth skull on his right shoulder. I thought this would be a cool way to make the viewer feel the size and strength that the character has. His name is Stor, which means big or great in Swedish. Pretty clever, I know. Lately, I've been learning about line hierarchy which you'll see that I use thicker lines for larger things in the silhouette, medium lines to separate bodies within the silhouette, and then some thin lines here and there to represent texture and form. This was massive for me in creating a professional and polished looking sketch quickly. Store has to be battle ready, so I wanted to make sure what he's wearing reflects that. After the line art is finished, I filled it in to create a silhouette. Using an airbrush with low opacity and flow, I started to slowly build up the values of the skin. Using adjustment layers and some red splashes of color, I achieve a decently convincing skin tone. Blocking in the armor was a real challenge. I got a little caught up on getting the texture right rather than the forms that I drew from the sketch. I'll keep a mental note of that as I continue fleshing out the characters of this world. Once I was satisfied with the leather pieces, the underclothing was a breeze. You'll notice that I refer to the sketch as I place in shading because during the sketch and outlines was when I was making those decisions. For me, as I'm learning, this is a big step forward because rendering and decision making at the same time really slows me down. Separating them helps me to be much more efficient. I'm very satisfied with Stor's beard. I was really intentional about how the forms would overlap, so after placing some shadows in, it was really only a matter of getting the texture of those forms to represent hair. I don't know why I keep forgetting to add eyebrows until I'm halfway done with rendering, but I'll have to put a reminder on my phone for the next design. From here on out, it's much easier and I get on a bit of a roll. I have all the values and texture that I want from the leather that I've already rendered, and the Mammoth Skull is really fun. I'm pretty happy with the bone texture that I was able to achieve without using any photos. The fur that I placed around him was a bit of an epiphany moment because after adding the photo texture, you'll see me go back in and smudge out some wisps and strands of fur that make it feel almost real. Using the symmetry tool, I was able to create a pretty neat Norse looking pattern quickly. I'll have to start using that more to add some personalization on props or clothing. It's a really quick and efficient tool that I've just picked up from the Concept Art Academy. From here on out, we're about to wrap up, so I add the background in, similar to what I used for Gom, Stor's father, and plopped in the photo textures, warping them to fit the forms that they're being placed over. I think that the photo textures are a lot more tasteful in this design. They weren't as much of a crutch for me. They definitely add a lot to the concept, but the design still holds on its own without them. If you missed the last video, make sure you check that out. I'm going to continue building onto this world and sharing with you how I'm improving and growing. Before that though, we got to add some more dramatic shadows and lighting, and then draw in some rim lights to make them pop. And I can finally introduce you to Stor, who's seeking to make a name for himself after being the only son of Gom, the legendary warrior. As you can see, I think I took some big steps forward from the last design to this one. So if you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe and leave a comment on a character that you would like to see me create in this world. Thank you for watching.